Um, thank you very much, uh, Deputy Director Vasha, Ambassador Tapit, for your, for your kind introduction. Uh, I, I might add, uh, um, Deputy Director, uh, you said that um, we, uh, we've had a diplomatic relations between Thailand and um, Hungary, uh, dating back only uh, a few decades. But I would like to um, remind the, our Hungarian friends in the audience that, of course, uh, our great king, uh, King Chulalong Gorn, uh, visited Budapest uh, in 1907. So uh, I, I think uh, we could date uh, good relations uh, back for more than a century. Um, even uh, this morning, I received an, an email uh, saying, um, what, um, what can you say about Thailand and the Hungarian uh, Revolution of 1956? And how can, uh, how, many, how, how many words uh, can you say about it? Well, I have um, many words uh, to, 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 to say, and um, I look forward to Ambassador Balok's um, uh, comments on them uh, thereafter. <coughs> and, and, and if you have any questions, I would be very happy uh, to answer them. Um, um, last year, on the 26th of October, 2016, um, I, I also gave a talk on Prince Wan Wetiak Gon and the 1956 Hungarian Revolution at the Faculty of Arts, Chulalongkorn University. And they also published a little, a little book about it with, with some very, very uh, good um, essays uh, by your ambassador um, to, to Thailand, Ambassador Peter Jakobs. And, and so I, I, I'm very pleased that the in turn, the Royal Thai Embassy has published this, this little booklet on His Royal Highness Prince Wan Wai Tiakon, um, Thoughts on Diplomacy. And, uh, and uh, I, I'd like to congratulate the Ambassador Chapit on this publication. It, it, it's very well done. And, I, and I'll be quoting uh, from it as well. Um, so uh, to, ask, to, ask, uh, to answer a few uh, preliminary questions, uh, Questions you know, that, that that I received this, this this morning from my old school teacher. Um, what, you know, what what can I say about the uh, Hungarian Revolution in 1956, and, and why 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 am I uh, in, in, in involved in this project from the from the very beginning uh, of the commemorative year in October um, uh, 2016. I, I was just telling some colleagues um, and some, some members of the press who were here earlier this afternoon that um, uh, prior to, to 2016, uh, uh, about a year earlier, we at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand, we, we wanted to, to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the presidency of the 11th session of the United Nations General Assembly. Um, and and the, the, the presidency uh, was, was, um, was, was taken uh, that year, on the 3rd of September, by acclamation by our great foreign minister, Prince Juan Waitia So um, we, we, we had, uh, in, in 2016, we had a seminar at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Thailand about, um, about his work, uh, especially concentrating on, on, on his um, uh, presidency of the UNGA. And then, of course, you know, what, uh, what was the most important um, topic for, for that year of 20, uh, uh, for, for 1956? Uh, that, that there were two topics uh, under discussion of the UNGA. And then they, in a way, they are linked, and, and, I, and I will say how. Um, the two subjects were the Anglo-French-Israeli uh, invasion uh, of Egypt, and then, of course, 
the Hungarian uh, Revolution. So this, this preoccupied um, the, the leadership of the Thai Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We were a long way away uh, in, in, in Southeast Asia, and, and yet because of our incoming um, presidency of the UNGA, we had to think about um, Egypt in the Middle East, we had to think about the Hungarian Revolution and East European affairs. In 1956, I was 13 years old, and my father was serving at our embassy in London. So um, as soon as the uh, uh, revolution uh, broke out, the, uh, you know, the BBC television uh, journalists were here. Uh, so uh, we were uh, watching uh, BBC television uh, and saw all the terrible, tragic events um, of, um, that was happening um, in, in, in Budapest and in Hungary. And, and I can still remember uh, those black and white flickering um, scenes of the Hungarian Revolution. Uh, I can still remember them to, to, to this day, um, as well as the Anglo-French Israeli invasion of Egypt. So, um, so that's my personal co connection to, to 1956 as a 13 year old. And then I, I had earlier mentioned my, 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 my sort of professional uh, connection through, um, through uh, talking about uh, the events of 1956, both at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and at Chulalongkorn University, where, where I was on, on a panel just like this and arranged exactly like this as well in two chairs and a round table um, and, and uh, discussing the Hungarian uh, re revolution of 1956 with your, with, uh, your successor, Ambassador Pet Peter Jacobs. Um, and, and so I'd like to start off by, by, by saying so, on the 3rd of September, uh, 1956, Prince Juan uh, was elected by acclamation um, the, as president of the 11th session of the um, United Nations General Assembly. So the next question that may be of interest to you is, uh, why was the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Thailand uh, elected? Um, by acclamation, the president of the UNGA. Uh, uh, Prince, Prince, Prince Juan was one of our outstanding, um, outstanding diplomats. Um, he, he had a very, very long career. So he started off as a third secretary to the Thai delegation um, to, to, to the, uh, the peace conference of, uh, at the Congress of Versailles uh, in, in, at the end of the First World War. And here again, there, there is a, a Hungarian uh, connection, uh, as, as, as you would be um, uh, well, well, well aware. So, 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 so he, 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 he started off his career uh, as, an, as an international diplomat at the Congress of Versailles, and he stayed there until the, 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 the very end of the conference. And, and he, he, he was there at, at the uh, legation of Siam through, from the Congress of Versailles to, to, um, to, to, to the um, something that um, uh, would uh, resonate with my Hungarian audience very well to, to the time of the uh, uh, Treaty of Trianon as well. Where, um, where, where, where Hungarian affairs were very much uh, to, to the fore. And so, um, uh, you know, uh, Siam made uh, the right decision uh, to join the Allies 
uh, at the end of the, the First World War. So we were treated, um, um, uh, we, 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 we were at the table of a, uh, at the peace conference and, and, um, and um, uh, we became one of the uh, founders of the um, um, League of Nations. And, and uh, Prince, Prince Juan um, also was a regular um, attendee of the, uh, 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 of the League of Nations in, in, in Geneva. So, 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 so that um, um, he, he served on, on, on virtually uh, every committee of, of, of the League of Nations. And then um, um, uh, you know, he, he, he was at the age of 19, at the age of 33 in 1924, um, he, he became a permanent secretary uh, for foreign affairs. And he was ambassador in London from 1926 to 1930. And, and during the time of the League of Nations, he had been vice chairman of the finance committee, uh, vice chairman of the revision of uh, the world court rules, and uh, chairman of the agenda committee. So um, he, was, he was very, uh, he, he was very much uh, a, a, a man of the League of Nations and international uh, diplomat. And he, he, he was a member of the uh, Court of Arbitration at The Hague. And um, after the uh, Second World War, in 1947, he was ambassador to the US and our permanent representative um, to the UN. But um, internet, even um, you know, after the uh, Second World War, um, he, he was one of the joint chairmen uh, together with the United Kingdom and the USSR um, for the conference, um, the, the um, Geneva Conference on, on, on Korea. And um, he was a, a, a very remarkable man because he was a, one of the uh, um, signatories of the Treaty of Manila in 1954, which led to the founding of the Southeast Asia Treaty Organization counterpart of uh, NATO and CENTO. And he was chosen to be rapporteur of the uh, conference in Bandung, um, which led to the formation of the non-aligned movement. So, so he, 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 he was a, a, a veteran, a veteran a diplomat. And as far as the UN was concerned, before he became, uh, before he was elected by by acclamation, president of the 11th uh, UNGA. He had already been uh, chairman of the Special Political Committee, vice chairman of the 6th Committee, chairman of the 4th Committee, uh, chairman of the 5th Committee, and chairman of the 6th Committee. So in other words, he, 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 had chaired, he had chaired virtually every, uh, every committee uh, possible uh, of the League of Nations and of the United Nations uh, before he became president. Of, 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 the, of the UN uh, GA in 1956. And here, 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 here I, I'd, I'd like to, 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 to quote um, uh, some, um, something from, 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 from this little booklet, which, which I hope you have picked up. Um, he gave a, a lecture, he gave a lecture in 1962, the end of 1962, called, called Common sense in diplomacy, and um, and at the end of the lecture, he said that uh, for diplomacy uh, to work well, to quote, and, and, and you may like this, a sense of humor too is a useful asset and adds much to tact. When Krishna Menon was fuming away one day and was asking for the floor again and again. I just said I was hungry and adjourned the meeting, and he was quiet in the afternoon sitting. Now, Krishna Menon was the uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs of, 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 of uh, India at the time. He, he was a well known troublemaker. <laughs> and then, um, once in the special uh, political committee, um, he again, um, to quote, my smile 
was one of my assets. It won me goodwill, which is indispensable in any international conference. It does not, however, mean approval. As I had to warn Mr. Vizinski, Vizinski was the Soviet uh, representative uh, to the Special uh, Political Committee, I think it was in 1950. And uh, in a tense debate on disarmament in the Political Committee, uh, Mr. Vizinski turned to me and said, See, Prince Juan agrees with me. He is smiling. On a point of personal explanation, I said I had to utter a word of caution. It is dangerous to interpret my smiles because I always smile. And that broke the tension. Mm -hmm. So, so this, 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 this was the kind of man uh, Prince Juan was. And this was the kind of man the um, UNGA elected to be its president during this crisis, terrible crisis year of 19. 56, and, and I think um, I think the UNGA um, the UNGA um, chose wisely because uh, he was a very, he was a he was a very very calm man. But of course, when we come to the question of um, Thailand and the <coughs> Hungarian Revolution of 1956, he himself could not do all that much because he was the chairman and he, as it were, he had to chair, he had to appear to be impartial. But this did not uh, prevent the Thai delegation uh, from uh, expressing uh, its views. And that's what, uh, the, that is the main uh, subject of what I would like, uh, of what I would like um, to, 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 to say to you and what, what the Thai delegation um, representing Thailand at the 11th session of the UNGA uh, said during the, the, during the, the uh, Hungarian Revolution. So the Hungarian Revolution properly uh, started as, you, as, as we've, been, we've just been told um, on the 23rd of October, but uh, uh, you in the audience would know that there have been uh, student uh, meetings and so on since the 16th of October here in, here in, in Budapest. But um, the first cable um, that regarding the Hungarian Revolution in the archives of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand uh, is dated uh, the 29th of, to of October, it, and it was signed by our deputy um, leader of our delegation, a man called Dr. Tanap Korman, um, who uh, was Prince Juan's successor as Minister of Foreign Affairs and uh, was the founder of um, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Uh, which uh, we've been celebrating the 50th anniversary of this year. So uh, Tanat Common was um, uh, in New York and uh, rep as, the, as the, the head of the Thai de de delegation while Prince Wan was on the podium. And uh, he said that, I beg to report that upon request from the USA and with the approval of HRH, the foreign minister, I have today sent a letter to the President of the Security Council expressing Thailand's support of consideration by the Council of the situation in Hungary as requested by France, United Kingdom and the United States of America. But as you will recall, the, uh, the, the Soviet Union vetoed um, anything uh, that was presented in the Security Council and therefore the um, within the UN, um, UN mechanism, uh, the, 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 the debate uh, had to be uh, made in the uh, United Nations um, uh, General Assembly. And uh, the, first, uh, the first statement <coughs> of the um, Thai delegation in the UNGA is also uh, very, very interesting uh, and to me uh, very, very moving. 
and, and, and it says a lot about how we, how we, how we felt and how we feel uh, towards Hungary. And the, 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 the first major speech was delivered by, by Dr. Tanat Korman. And, and I would like to, to quote from it at some length. He said, because the events in Hungary portray a merciless attack upon the most fundamental right of man, the right of man to lead a life of his own choice, the right for him to choose freedom. These events represent an assault upon the civilized society of men and nations as symbolized by the United Nations. Such an attack, as we all know, has been and continues to be perpetrated with modern and deadly weapons by the armed forces of a state on a foreign soil against defenseless the civilian population, against men, women and children whose only crime is their refusal to be subjected to foreign domination and their determination to be free and to be masters in their own homeland. We also know, Mr. President, he was, as, he was addressing his own foreign minister who was on, on the podium, that this attack in the short period of only a few days has exacted as heavy a toll of innocent human lives as months of war. Confronted with this alarming situation, Thailand, with her age-long tradition of liberty and independence, could not remain insensible to these immense human sufferings. Therefore, when the situation was brought before the Security Council, my country immediately expressed its full support for the consideration of the matter by that organ. And when, as a result of the Soviet veto, the question was transferred to this assembly, Thailand again made known her equivocal, unequivocal attitude of support and sympathy by registering her positive vote in favor of the US resolution. This attitude is fully in keeping with our tradition of freedom and independence and consistent with our firm belief that whenever and wherever there is an attempt upon freedom and on fundamental rights of man, we cannot and should not remain impassive, but should express our indignation and our strong reprobation. In the course of the discussion on this matter, either in the Security Council or in the Assembly, it has been contended that this severe repression undertaken by the Soviet armed forces against the Hungarian nation and which has plunged this nation into a bloodbath was based on the provisions of the Warsaw Treaty. Such a contention seems particularly revolting to us, for many of us in this assembly, including my own country, also belong to regional organizations as permitted by the Charter of the United Nations. But in our case, it is inconceivable that the troops of any contracting party to those arrangements could be used to suppress national aspirations and national movements in the territory of other parties. Such a use of force cannot be conceivable even in the case where any of the parties decide to withdraw from such regional arrangements. For then we would be confronted not with treaty of obligations but rather with chains of bondage which bind the parties and place them at the mercy of a ruthless master. This, unfortunately, seems to be the case with Hungary. So these were the words of, um, uh, of, uh, of Dr. Tanat Korman, deputy leader of the Thai delegation to the uh, 11th session of the UNGA. He was also the, uh, the um, ambassador uh, of the um, ambassador and head of, of the delegation of Thailand to, to, to the um, United Nations. And from that, um, and from those days in, in, in November until, until, the, uh, until the very end um, of, the, of the crisis, Thailand either co-sponsored, helped to draft and 
and supported all the UNGA uh, resolutions in support of Hungary and against the Soviet Union. So um, uh, we, we have, um, uh, I, I, I sent to, to, to our delegation in, in, in New York uh, to, to, to do uh, a, a, some research at the, uh, at the UN DAC, DAC commercial uh, library. So um, they, they, they came up with, with um, all, the, um, all the resolutions on the Hungarian crisis adopted by the General Assembly under the presidency of Prince Juan Wajiagon. And I think there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And, and, and Thailand either um, co-sponsored, uh, helped draft it, or, but definitely uh, voted uh, for all of them. And that's um, on, on record in the, um, uh, you, you know, uh, it, the, the, the UN is very good at this sort of thing uh, in the yearbook of the United Nations 1956. So, uh, it, it's, it's all on, 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 rec, on, on UN record. So uh, I, I would not like to go into uh, the details of the Hungarian uh, revolution because you would know uh, much better uh, than, 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 than I do uh, on, on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis uh, of, of this uh, tragic um, event, even though I, I have spent the last two days uh, going to the, uh, the National History Museum and spent the, the afternoon at the House of Terror, so, so, so you, you, you would know all, 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 all the details uh, much better than me. But I, well, what I would like uh, to repeat is that uh, um, throughout the, this tragic event, Thailand was, um, was on the side of the Hungarian government, the Hungarian nation, and of course the Hungarian people. Now, as as as, um, uh, as the events unfolded uh, tragically, um, the, the 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 the, the Thai uh, delegation uh, spoke at every session in support of uh, Hungary, um, and then uh, and then uh, finally. Um, uh, finally, the, the UNGA uh, also appointed uh, Prince Wan uh, to be um, its special representative to report on the Hungarian cri uh, cri crisis. But, but as you know, um, he and his delegation have wanted uh, to, to visit uh, Hungary, and, and, and they should uh, be able uh, to do so. But um, the, the, the new uh, Hungarian uh, government um, of um, uh, Mr. Kadar uh, re refused uh, their admission uh, to, to, uh, to, to Hungary. And uh, later on, uh, Mr. Kadar was arrested along with the Minister of Defense. Um, uh, General Pal Maliter, and um, eventually uh, there was a show trial, and they were uh, both uh, executed. And um, uh, because I, I would rather like to hear the comments uh, from uh, from from Ambassador uh, Balog, uh, I I would not like to uh, prolong my talk for too long. And I, 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 I'm waiting uh, to hear what Ambassador Balok has to say and to answer uh, questions uh, from the audience. But anyway, uh, what I would like to say um, is that penultimately, not quite ultimately, penultimately, um, on the 19th of June, 1958, uh, Prince Juan, as special representative, General Maleta and others, a special representative of the United Nations General Assembly, I did my best to impress upon the Hungarian delegation the insistent demand of world public opinion, including Asian opinion, for humanitarian treatment of Hungarians detained in connection with the revolution. I therefore deeply deplore 
this inhuman act of execution, which surely will be universally condemned by people with a human heart all over the world. The United Nations must continue to devote its attention to this matter of Hungary. Finally, before I'd like to give the floor to Ambassador Bala, you know, that we, uh, uh, at the end of that UN session, uh, there was a uh, there was a request uh, for, for 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 assistance uh, to the Hungarian uh, people from from the, from the Thai government, uh, from the uh, from the Thai Red Cross, and and and, uh, and so on. And um, and uh, I'm happy to say that now that I am Assistant Secretary General uh, to to, uh, to to the Thai. To the, to the Thai Red Cross, I'm very proud to say that um, um, we, uh, in, in nine, May 1957, um, the, 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 the Thai Red Cross um, uh, sent uh, to the International Committee of the Red Cross in Geneva um, uh, 25,757 uh, US dollars uh, to, to assist uh, the, the Hungarian uh, refugees and, 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 al and also uh, in those days we, 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 we were not as, as well off as today so we were able to, to send only it is just, just, just the Thai Red Cross not, 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 not the Thai government and we also, the Thai Red Cross also sent 200 bags of rice and 30,000 30, 30, cartons of cigarettes and 25 bags of sugar and other, and other commodities uh, to, to help the, 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 the Hungarian people. I, I, I haven't been able to find what the Thai government said, but this is what, this is the, 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 what, what the, Thai, the Thai Red Cross said. And uh, as I'm now working for the Thai Red Cross, I, I thought that I would like to end my, 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 my talk with, 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 with what the, 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 the little, the little uh, uh, contribution that we made to the Thai Red Cross, made to the Hungarian Red Cross, to the uh, International Committee of the Red Cross in, uh, in, during that terrible period of time for the Hungarian people. So I, I'd like to, to end here um, because I, I, I'd, rather, I'd, ra I'd rather hear from, from, from Ambassador Bala. Thank you very much. Mr. Minister, Excellencies, distinguished members of the Royal Thai Embassy, ladies and gentlemen, I'm personally very grateful to you as a Hungarian. It was in, I'm in the position of, for the first time to react what you said. And uh, I can assure you that we were and continue being very grateful to the Thai understanding, the sympathy and assistance we got during the revolution and after it. May I tell you that for me it is a very special and exceptional event to be together with the minister. I served in Thailand just during his ministership and I always enjoyed his assistance is very constructive evaluation of the situation, which was really very, very difficult time. And the minister, as the, I think, the most experienced foreign political experts, knew very well which are the constant, which are the temporary or trans transitionary moments of any event. The Thai history is as turbulent and contradictory as the Hungarian one. So you can understand <laughs> that for diplomats it is not an easy task just to, to be oriented and try to orient those who are active in policy making. Tej Bunag is a very, in a very good position. And just I made an attempt a few minutes ago in the first conversation to tell 
or Hungarian friends of now for, for the broader audience also I want to repeat that Minister Tej Bunak's diplomatic skill is a is an inherited quality. His family started diplomacy and politics almost half a millennium ago as eminent Persian personalities, traders, organizers, and later the real constructors of the modern Thai political system. That's, a, that's an exceptional family. And probably with this heritage, the minister was able to navigate among the unexpectedly high and turbulent waves of, the, uh, of this terrible sea which surrounds the kingdom of Thailand. I think that this topic is more than just one of the important subjects for the Thais. Probably it is evident for those who are enlightened and well educated that there is a lot of parallelism between Thailand and Hungary, which started much before. Perhaps everybody knows that. Chulabongkorn the Great made a historic visit to Hungary no more than 100 years ago and immediately the two political class from Hungary and Thailand recognized this mutuality, this common heritage, the strength and force of tradition. What was the community of this? They knew very well that they committed patriotism was a common feature. Two nations which were surrounded by potential enemies and those who did not want uh, to let these nations to prosper. Even the partition of these nations very much in the aims. As you know that in case of Hungary it occurred, in case of Thailand only partially. But the intentions were very difficult. By the way, I myself, I studied in the science society, many, many other uh, places of intellectual interest, those documents which have been produced during two important Thai kings, Mongus, Rama IV, and Chulalongkorn, Rama V. Both of them were talking a lot about many things, but there were some moments which permanently came back. They realized that Thailand is surrounded by potential enemies. It is a small nation. The question is, how a small nation is able to preserve its sovereignty, identity, especially in those times when that was the order of the day just to try to grab as much as strange land as possible. This was the same in Europe as well. What happened just 100 years ago in 1918 when Hungary lost two-thirds of, of her territory. Actually, similar things happened, and the wisdom of the Thai kingdoms, partly under the influence of the Bunnaks and uh, other family members, which were uh, very closely related to this heritage, gave the good advice. It meant that even if we found or had found gold mines under us, we will not be able to defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are too small. Mm -hmm. They realize it. And that's why that we have to be very cautious, very careful, and they invited various and more foreign 
political powers just to help the reform process to blockade the foreigners at the same time to demonstrate their willingness to modernize and to so the Thais averted all pretensions to settle Thailand just as the foreign powers did with all neighboring countries. Look at the neighbors, Burma, the Malay Peninsula, look at the Indo-Chinese countries. French and British practically occupied all these territories. And that's why that we can understand why uh, Minister Tej Bunag has chosen Ben Vaitayakon, who is, was a lion of the Thai diplomacy. Actually, even in Thailand, later, especially when I wrote a book about the whole Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. and of course, this chain of events are especially important if you want to understand how common are the human feelings and the reactions of, of those nations which want to survive and flourish in difficult conditions. I studied very carefully when Weizsäger Kohn's first missions in Tokyo, for example, mm -hmm. the Greater East Asian Conference. Mm -hmm. Very few people know about it, even in Thailand. Although it was very clear that Thailand, again, in very difficult situation, but it was difficult to know whether the Japanese are friends or potential occupants of the country. Actually, the same situation as all situation was with the Germans. Mm -hmm. Allies and at the same time those who were very important. So in such conditions the diplomats can play an important role. Just like another important Thai diplomat who was the ambassador of the, of the King of Thailand in the United States, who actually sabotaged uh, the initiative to those who wanted to declare war. I think that it is one of the golden page of the Thai diplomacy. Unfortunately, we failed in this comparison. Mm -hmm. So that's why that, uh, Thailand was able to come out from the war, not as a winner, but not as a loser. Mm -hmm. That's a very important. And uh, one by Tayakon, played an eminent role in this. He was able to convince the Japanese that Thailand is not a, not a, I mean, not a host island, at the same time later, as the minister so eloquently talk uh, about his further career as um, one of the architects of the Southeast Asian uh, Association, really very much the, the brother, the twin brother of the, of the NATO, and also in the Geneva Conference, uh, absolutely, he was the towering personality in this situation. So, to be the builder of the, uh, of the Seattle, at the same time, to be an important contributor to the Bandung Conference, mm -hmm. so that's the diplomatic skill. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. So we highly appreciate it. By the way, for the first time, I had the chance to talk about these things. That time is very cautious. It was when General Prem mm -hmm. visited Hungary. I think that all Thai friends know very well General Prem's fantastic achievements, but very few people know that he was the first and I think he was the last so far as a Thai Prime Minister who came to Hungary. He had the energy, the new importance. And um, 
So if we realize that these are those important common features between two nations, mm -hmm. immediately we not only love but understand each other much better. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I mm -hmm. by the way, some knowledge, culture, intelligence is also very much necessary. Uh, one by Zayakon was an academic also, although I don't remember that he ever got an academic title. Mm. But even he was a linguist. Yes, that's right. Such words as the, as the bank or war, so crown. Mm. These are his inventions. Very interesting. Mm. Also, very few people know about it now. Yes. Although it shows very well that not enough just to learn some, some basics of the diplomacy from the handbook. Highly cultured and intelligent and knowledgeable people are necessary. Otherwise it is just something as a as a low level activity of a master, but not a scholar, not a writing. And that's why that I am again very grateful to you and may I express my sincere gratitude that you demonstrated us how successful nations are built and what is the real contribution of the eminent diplomats. Many of you here, the young people, probably you go to diplomatic career one time. So this kind of attitude which is important. So it is not enough just to write reports. <laughs> Good, of course. You must do it, but uh, you must understand that you must know the motivations of the different moves. And in all circumstances, people can act according to the orders of the, of the ministry, of course, but at the same time, according to, to their knowledge, their background, and the good morality. That's also important. That's what we learn not only from one white Ayakon, but of course Minister Tej Bunag, who is a dignified successor of the great diplomats. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We, 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 have, uh, we still have lots of time we, we, before we, I seem to be taking over as, 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 as chairman of the meeting. But before, before uh, I, I open the floor, we, we open the floor to, to question and answer. I'd just like to, to, to give you one more quotation. Um, when, did you, when, when the um, United Nations General Assembly um, chose Prince Juan um, to be special representative for on, on the Hungarian problem. Uh, he, he, he delivered a, a, a short uh, reply, which I'd like to, to, to read out to you. He said, I am grateful to my fellow representatives for having proposed and supported in such generous terms, my appointment as special representative of the General Assembly on the Hungarian problem. To take steps to achieve the objectives of the United Nations in accordance with the General Assembly resolutions. It is indeed a great honor that the General Assembly has conferred on me. An honor, however, that carries with it great and heavy responsibilities. I am a United Nations man, and so when an, an, an opportunity is offered to me to serve this world organization for peace and freedom, I humbly accept it in a spirit of service. But what can I do? That is the question that is being asked. I can and certainly will do my best. 
Does that hold out any hope of success to an expectant world opinion? My answer is that where there is a will, there is a way. I have absolute faith in the righteousness of the United Nations cause in the present instance, namely the cause of the freedom of the Hungarian people. I also have the high moral authority of the General Assembly and the high moral force of world public opinion behind me. And the governments with which I shall have to deal are none other than members of the United Nations. Moreover, my experience in diplomacy has been acquired in that school of diplomacy which relies exclusively on the support of moral values. So uh, that's what um, Prince Juan said when he accepted to be the uh, special representative of the United Nations on the Hungarian problem. But of course, uh, as, uh, as I ended my talk, uh, he failed. Uh, but, um, but as he said, he did his best. But uh, in that, uh, during the height of the Cold War, uh, 1956, 57, 58, uh, he, 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 he was not able uh, to do more than that. But as, as I said in the beginning, you know, um, that year, I think one of the factors that uh, led to the failure uh, of, um, of, 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 of his mission was the fact that two of the permanent members of the United Nations Security Council, the United Kingdom and France, had just violated so much of the U UN Charter uh, by themselves. Exactly. They had invaded uh, Egypt, and uh, and and that and that weakened that weakened the cause of the uh, of the USA. Um, that week weakened the cause of Thailand, and that weakened the cause of Prince Juan, be, be, because because the other side could always say, well, look look at you, two of the permanent uh, members of the uh, of the UN Security Council, you've just you've just invaded uh, uh, another country, uh, and I think that 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 weakened uh, our, our, our cause in general. Um, so it, it, it was it was a bad year. It was a bad year, 1956. Thank you. Now, um, if, if you have any if you have any questions, uh, I'm sure um, I'm sure Ambassador Ballot and, and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you. back 
in history than the visit of uh, King Chulalongkorn, because in 1874, the Treaty of uh, Friendship, Trade and Navigation between the Austro-Hungarian monarchy and the sign was signed, and the first consul uh, in Bangkok, I think in, in 1912, was a Hungarian, I forget his name, but it shows that, that uh, we have we had had uh, actual diplomatic relations uh, uh, since uh, 1874, yeah. and the fact that uh, you mentioned the, the Paris uh, Treaty, uh, it has a chapter dealing with the Thai-Hungarian relations. It also shows that the country has to have uh, strong relations, and, and uh, uh, unfortunately, between uh, 1917 and uh, 1907. <coughs> Three, uh, that was uh, a gap uh, in, in the formal relations. Although, for example, in, in uh, 1934, Rama, I think, Saddam visited Hungary also. So there was a lot of things happening, and but I think the most important was uh, the uh, Thai contribution to uh, to, the, to support the Hungarians in in uh, the UN. In, and later on, as, as you mentioned, Prince Juan Sigurin and as a special representative. Thank you very much. Any questions? Um, thank you, Ambassador. Um, when, 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 when I started um, uh, to, to do um, some research for, for, for my talk with uh, Ambassador Jacobs. Um, I, I, I went first of all to, to the archives of our foreign ministry. Not in great hope because uh, it's 1956. So uh, they probably, I thought that they, perhaps they had um, uh, sent all the papers uh, to our, the, the main national archives. But fortunately, um, fortunately, um, in, in, in this case, um, um, they have still kept the, the, the file on the Hungarian Revolution and the ministry. So it was, um, it was easier for me to, to, uh, to, to, to call for them. So I didn't have to go to our national archives at, at, at all. I, I, I was lucky. And, um, and, and um, you know, as I said, uh, I was watching, uh, as a 13-year-old boy, I, I was watching these events on the BBC television. And, and um, I think we, we, even as a boy, I, I, was, I, I was deeply moved, you know. It was, it, was, it, was, it was so terrible. But at the same time, as I said, you know, we, we the, 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 to the Western countries that weakened themselves, because we were also um, watching on television, um, you know, their, their invasion of Egypt, uh, and, and I think that really undermined, undermined the the the. It, it really did undermine the the the, the, the Hungarian cause. Uh, I, I, re I really I really do feel uh, strongly about this. And how, however much we, 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 we were going to, 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 to condemn the Soviet Union, they, could, they always came back, every time, if, if, you look at the doc, if you look at the debate. They always went back on, on the Anglo-French invasion of, of, of Egypt. Um, I, I'd just like to, to, um, to, to, to read another passage. This was a, um, our, our deputy, Foreign Minister, um, a, man, a man called uh, Rak Panyarachun, the older brother of the future Prime Minister Bates, um, he, 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 he said that, um, um, that um, the Soviet Union had tried um, to base its unjustifiable action on the assertion that this is an internal affair internal for Hungary, and strangely enough, internal also for the Soviet Union. 
It is fortunate that this assembly has not been duped by this crude fiction. It can never be. No one in his clear conscience can accept that Hungary is presented to the world as a sovereign entity possessing all its sovereign attributes, while internally another state dispossesses it of all the functions of a sovereign state, assumes complete control over the internal situation, and undertakes the severest repression against the people that modern history has ever witnessed. The very fact that the Hungarian government has called on foreign troops to suppress national uprisings within its territory removes any doubt as to its sovereign character. It is therefore clear beyond any doubt that the present Hungarian government does not exist as such, but rather as a shadow of a foreign power which internally treats it as a subordinate agency while externally using it as a shield for its armed intervention. Such being the case, the responsibility can now be properly assessed. This assembly has enough evidence to form an intelligent opinion of this grave situation. It is vital for our organization to continue to press for the admission of the United Nations observers into Hungary. But what we already know is more than enough to stir our human feelings and our conscience to raise our voice against this cruel case of subjugation of a small nation by a larger one. The in inescapable conclusion is now clear. The Soviet Union, by choosing to use its armed forces to intervene in the affairs of another state, either under the pretext of maintaining a particular social regime, or more factually, to preserve its political and strategic control over Hungary, must face its responsibility. Responsibility for the armed intervention in violation of the expressed provisions of the Charter and responsibility for its refusal to heed the calls of this Assembly in regard to the withdrawal of its armed forces from Hungary and restoration to the Hungarian people of their freedom and independence. This was the second major um, um, speech of, um, of a Thai delegation on the, on the Hungarian crisis. Um, so, um, so, so we, we, we intervened at every session uh, on the Hungarian uh, revolution on, on, in support of Hungary. I'm quite, quite, I'm quite, quite proud of our record.